Okay, okay. Let's get into this. JD Nigel, word of truth. Get some coffee. Mm. Mm. Welcome, new subscribers, family, brothers and sisters. Paco Bon time, brothers and sisters. <laughs> you got to listen to that song. Pato Bantan. B-A-N-T-O-N. Brothers and sisters. <laughs> Pato Bantan. If you want to um, listen to a good Christian reggae guy, he's the guy. He's my brother. He's my he's my roommate. He's one of my roommates. Um, I know him personally. He's really good. Okay, the land sold for bread. Ah, see... I don't want to go in. I don't want to go into that. Sorry. So we we're over here. Jacob prospers. The flight from Laban and Jacob rose up. So we're talking about after Joseph was born. There's some there's some interesting stuff going on here, and I'm gonna try and get it as I go. I have to I have to think about it because I'm kind of slow witted sometimes, and I'm I don't rely enough on my own knowledge you know but i don't want to make a mistake that's why i go so slow i want to make sure i'm getting it right so all this heavenly father bless the message bless my brothers and sisters give them peace give them joy give them strength in these last days we know that you love them we know that they love you otherwise they wouldn't be here they wouldn't be listening to your servant um we bow before you we praise you we honor you with a contrite and humble heart we do your will. Amen. Um, so the story is <clears throat> Jacob wants Rachel. He works seven years. Laban gives him Leah. Le he, he, he bones Leah. He didn't know. He didn't know it was her. He thought it was Rachel. They must have looked pretty similar. They had similar bodies. And, um, so then J Jacob worked seven more years, seven, seven, and he got Rachel to, to wife. And then from, from what I know, seven, 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 like my phone number growing up, eight, six, three, seven, 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 two. Interesting. Two at the end, Joseph and Benjamin, seven, seven. Seven years, seven years, seven years, and then the two sons of Rachel. Seven, 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 two. Um, eight, six, fourteen, and three, the three, the Holy Spirit. Anyway, eight, six, three, seven, 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 two sons. So, um, as soon as Joseph's born, the eleventh son. Jacob says to Laban, I'm out of here. I've been here 21 years. I'm not sure if that last seven's correct, but I would imagine it took seven more years for completion, right? For that to all play out. Seven, seven, seven. 21 equals three. The Father and the Son and the One, the Holy Spirit. 21 years. The numbers mean things, but I don't, I just... I play. That's more for me. That's play, play. That's like, yeah, yeah. The numbers are all going to add up in the end for sure. But I'm not a math guy. I'm a um, I'm a lit guy. So anyway, the flight from Laban, Genesis 31, 17. Then Jacob rose up and set his sons and his wives on camels, and he carried away all the cattle, all the goods. And Laban went to shear the sheep, and Rachel had stolen the images that were her father's. I still don't understand why she took his idols. There was a lack of faith there somewhere that she didn't trust that Jacob was going to do the right thing by her. So she took her father's idols for backup. That's the only thing I can think of. I don't know why she took those idols. I'm going to have to look into that. that that'll come out probably later. And Jacob stole away unawares from Laban the Syrian and that he told him, and not that he fled. So Jacob was even afraid of Laban. He was like, man, I better just grab my shit and split because I don't trust this nigga. 
he's he's fooled me before. I'm not gonna get fooled again. I won't get fooled again. Um, Laban pursues Jacob, so he he goes after him, so on and so forth. Let's move on from that. We know that um we know that we we're having a hard time getting away from these narcissists. We're having a hard time getting away from these devils. We're having a hard time grabbing our blessing out of this funky matrix that we're in this 3d fucking prison that's probably another reason people go what was he talking about 3d prison come on sir these things are are obvious to us but i guess <clears throat> to some people it's like Jacob confronts Laban. He says, uh, and Jacob was wroth and showed. He was showed. I love that word. Showed means, um, <laughs> he was showed. He was rebuked with Laban. And Jacob answered and said to Laban, what is my trespass? What is my sin that thou has so hotly pursued after me? So when we think of this narcissistic, see, that's, that's probably the reason it takes so long. When we think of these narcissists, why did they pursue after us? Why why do they keep coming back? Why do they keep bugging? Why do they not let us go? Thank God, my first narcissist, she found someone else that she could um, demon up with and they enjoy each other's sick company or whatever it is. Good for them. But the last one, I care about her so much and she... <laughs> she's such a she's such a damaged individual there was a good soul there but they they keep we have to ask them why did you do what you did to me i didn't do anything to you why why did you treat me this way the first the first ex-wife i i i was dumbfounded i'm like they came out of nowhere it was fucking crazy the shit her and her Man, they, those are some demons. I, I came, I've, let me tell you something, people. I've come up against some fucking hardcore demons. To be here, to, to be able to sit here and not shake and, and quiver any more than I do, you wouldn't believe it. Okay, so let's, let's get into the family thing. Um, so Jacob and Laban made a covenant here. They said, yeah, they, they made a witness pile. This was, this was one of the ones that caught me way back then was why did Laban, and I still, I, I get it, but there's something deeper there. Um, verse 44, Genesis of 31, chapter 31. Now therefore come, let us make a covenant, I and thou, and let it be for a witness between me and thee. And Jacob took a stone and set it for a pillar. And Jacob said unto his brethren, gather stones. And they took stones and made a heap. And they did eat there upon the heap. And Laban called it, Jagar Sahadutha, but Jacob called it Galid. So um, those words um, in Aramaic for the heap of witness is what Laban called it. And Jacob used the same word, but in Hebrew. I didn't know that. But they what what it's called is a witness pile. And this is always God, it got my attention. I'm like, a witness pile. The stones are witnessing. Let me read it. And they took stones and made a heap, and Laban called it Jagar Sahadutha, but Jacob called it Galid. And Laban said, this heap is a witness between me and thee this day. Therefore was the name of it called Galid, witness heap, witness pile. And Mitzpah, for he said, the Lord watched between me and thee, and when we are absent from one another, if thou afflict my daughters, or if you take other wives besides my daughter, no man is with us. See, God is witness between me and thee. And Laban said to Jacob, behold this heap, and behold this pillar, which I have cast between me and thee. This heap be a witness, and this pillar be a witness. Well, the the lesson changed. The Lord had a has something else to say about this. What is this saying? 
there's a sacred, there's a sacred, the stones are witnessing the, the company of angels, the great cloud of witnesses is watching everything. And so these, what these demon narcissists, um, they know, I think they know. They're, they're performing for their God and we're performing for our God. And the thing that, that's interesting is I said this when the, when the first wife and her witches finally, the Lord finally pulled them out of my sphere, got them away from me. And I, and I was able to move on past that is that those poor demons, their goal was to destroy me. Just like this last narcissist, um, I'm not going to say her name. Their goal is to completely destroy you and keep you from doing your mission. So being that I'm still here doing my mission, the there's no stopping it. And that's what that's what's weird about these demons. They don't know when they're doing it. They can't stop themselves from doing what they're doing. They've made a covenant with the devil. They've made a pact with 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 the dark forces and they're going to do what, what these puppets, they're going to be puppeted by their puppet master and I'm going to be controlled. I'm a bond servant to my master. And that's one of the things that you, you folks need to think, put that into your head. If you're with me, no one's going to stop. No one's going to be able to stop you. If you're with me, you're with God. And if you're with God, there's no weapon formed against you that's going to prosper. They have been able to do the most amazingly wicked shit to me. And the Lord has always pulled me through. They had, they, she, she had a hit out on my life, the first one. And I try and tell people, I try and tell the, like the latest demon, the latest narcissist, Hey, you know what? The ex had a hit out on me for no fucking good reason. Doesn't even phase her. She doesn't go, wow, I better, I better be good to this guy. He's been through some shit. Nope. She does the same exact fucking wicked shit. She's all like, wow, I'm going to try and, I'm going to try and live up to that wickedness. So this witness pile, this is a, this is a story. This is, this is a tale for us to, to get a, get a lesson from. Let's, let's learn. We can't be stopped. We're going to complete our mission. The Lord has already written it. All, we have, all we're doing now is acting it out. So let me continue. Um, the heap between this heap, 52 Genesis. This is in the beginning. In the beginning, these, these things were, it's, the, it's called the law of first mention. What are these stones? The stones are crying out. Why? Because we're witnessing. Benjamin has a connection to the Most High. And so does a lot of Israel. But a lot of Israel is still asleep. And what is um, GMS and these wicked black Hebrew niggerites doing? They're making sure everyone stays asleep. They're rocking everyone. They say, don't let them rock you back to sleep while they're rocking you to sleep. Don't let them rock you back to sleep. Don't let them rock... Um, this heap is a witness, this pillar be a witness, and I will not pass over this heap to you, and you shall not pass over this heap and this pillar on to me for harm. So what is this witness pile? The witness pile, all those wicked fuckers that have ever done anything to you, these prick, demon-possessed individuals, It's not going to go unseen. It's not going unseen. There's some confirmation. The ducks even are crying out. Um, the God of Abraham and the God of Nahor, the God of their father, judge between us. And Jacob swore by the fear of his father Isaac. Then Jacob offered sacrifice upon the mountain, called his brethren to eat bread. And they did eat bread and tarried all night in the mount. And early in the morning, Laban rose up and kissed his sons and his daughters and blessed them. And Laban departed and returned unto his place.
Do you understand what's going on here? It's the early, it's the early split between them and us. Laban was family. Laban and Jacob were actually family. It was his uncle or something like that. But it goes to show that even your family, and that's what the Lord said, who's my family? These are the things that we have to keep in our mind. It's like, thank God some of us, my family, there was no one in my family. I was very protected that way. The only, my family has never hurt me. My, my sons and daughters are loyal. My sister's loyal. My dad was loyal. My mom was loyal. My grandparents were loyal. I come from a royal family even here. There's none of that. There's none of that fucking wicked family bullshit going on. None. I don't even understand it. I see it everywhere. These families that are just holy guacamole, Batman. That's a spicy burrito. I've never seen such wickedness in families to each other. This this molesting the children, um, the moms keeping it quiet, um, the sisters are keeping it quiet. It's it doesn't register in my spirit at all. I don't even, I don't get, <clears throat> you kidding me? <laughs> it's like, it doesn't, uh, anyway. So there's that message. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for not letting those demons. I don't, I don't think I have very many generational curses. I don't know. Alcohol. So anyway, um, damn, now I, that shook me up a little bit. Just thinking about it. Um, oh, is it the blessing? Is it the blessing of Joseph? Where is it? God speaks to Jacob. Um, oh, when Jacob's dying, slock you. I have to get this. Oh, here it is. It's still in Genesis. It's at the beginning. It's not like I wasn't going to find it. Um, so when he blesses all the children, he blesses them in order. So this is where you get the order. Reuben. Simeon and Levi are blessed together. Simeon and Levi are brethren. Instruments of cruelty are in their habitations. <sighs> I hung out with a lot of Simeons back in <laughs> Simeonites back in the day. I think that's where I get my um extra cruel streak Benjamin and Simeon were around the temple a lot doing service with the Levites holy cow the stuff that we seen getting done it's kind of like today we saw a lot of wickedness it's like wow holy holy moly because we were where we were where the most wicked stuff could happen because we were close to the temple the closer you are to the temple the the more careful you have to be about what you're doing. Then Judah's number four. The number of mercy. Zebulon, Issachar, Dan, Gad, Naphtali, Joseph, Benjamin. So the last two, 11 and 12, Joseph and Benjamin. So let's get the blessing of J Joseph so that we understand who Ephraim is and who Judah is. Judah is Benjamin. These last two, these are the two sticks. It's not just Judah, it's Benjamin, Judah and Benjamin. It's a it's a it's a hidden thing, people. Now, and that's not just because I'm Benjamin. That's the truth. This is the truth. That's why they're the last two. 
Joseph is a fruitful bout. This is what I was talking about yesterday. Um, everything is added on to Joseph. That's why he's Ephraim. Those are the ten. Those are the ten lost tribes. They were all added on to Joseph. Ephraim. Judah is the kings, and Benjamin's the government. Joseph. <clears throat> Genesis 49. <laughs> Ooh, Genesis 49. A lot of, lot of heavy shit going on right here. Um, these are the blessings under the tribes. To Joseph, Joseph is a fruitful bough, even a fruitful bough by a well, whose branches run over the wall. The archers have sorely grieved him and shot at him and hated him. For his bow abode in strength, and the arm of his hands were made strong by the hands of the Almighty God of Jacob. From thence is the shepherd, the stone of Israel. You hear what it said right there? The mighty God of Jacob. See how it, it, it made a delineation between Jacob and Israel right there? That's what I was talking about the other day. Benjamin's of Israel. All the other tribes are of Jacob. By the hands of the mighty God of Jacob, from thence is the shepherd, the stone of Israel. I'm not sure exactly what that means. Um, probably the add-on. It's, it's because Joseph was, was able to be born first. The younger will serve the older. Benjamin is going to serve Jacob through Israel. Does it make sense? Yes. Can you can you get it spiritually? Do you do you get it spiritually? I get it spiritually, but but in a strange way, it doesn't. It's not like boom, wow. There's something heavy, man. That's profound. It is. But I, it's not profound. I can't say it prof with profundity because it's so close to me. I, I, it's like it's like having something so close that you, you can't. I can't see the forest for the trees. I'm too close to it. I am it. Jay Hall, buddy. I wasn't, I wasn't talking shit, bro. Even by the God of thy father who shall help thee and by the Almighty who shall bless thee with blessings of heaven above, blessings of the deep that lieth under, blessings of the beasts and of the womb. The blessings of thy father have prevailed above the blessings of thy progenitors under the utmost bounds of the everlasting hills. Remember I was saying yesterday, he's got the hills, he's got the heavens, he's got the deep, he's got the the womb, he's got the this, he's got... Why? Why? Because of Rachel. Jacob's favorite. My girlfriend, Joy, she had... She had heavy connections to Joseph. She was, she was of Ephraim or, or Manasseh or Joseph himself. I don't know. She was of that general class, the, um, strategizers. And I said that 20 years ago and I, I still believe it's true. She was given so much and we, we wrote out our, we wrote out our time together. She was the longest of my women. We were together 16 years. Anyhow, moving forward. The blessings of thy father have prevailed above the blessings of my progenitors. Under the utmost bounds of the everlasting hills, they shall be on the head of Joseph and on the crown of the head of him that was separate from his brethren. Do you understand? It, 
it goes into the blessings to Joseph somewhere else too. It talks about him getting everything. Everything on earth he gets. But you know what Benjamin gets? Everything in heaven. He gets everything in the spiritual realm. This place isn't for Benjamin. This is this is only a this is only a mission. The blessing of Benjamin. Benjamin shall raven as a wolf. In the morning he shall devour the prey. And at night he shall divide the spoil. That's it. I raven like a wolf, people. I'm here every day. I'm fucking tearing it up every morning. And you know what's going to happen? I'm going to bring home the spoil in the evening. When this is all said and done. I'm going to have... Me and Joseph are going to be showing the way. The two sticks, people. Don't let these Hebrew niggerites fucking... Throw out their lazy deceitful, lying doctrine on you. They're going to try and sell you a bag of, a bag that has no dope in it. It's going to be all cut. <laughs> they're selling you, they're selling you a bunch of cut. <laughs> oh. Can't get high on that shit. That's a death culture. Did, did any of you listen to um, Ziggy Marley's so good, so right. So good, so right, so good, so. Um, hmm. How's it go? Um, don't you cry. Don't you lie. Won't you look into my eyes. I want to teach you about feeling high. <laughs> don't you cry, don't you lie. Let me see what I got. <laughs> 